Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're here with a, another episode on the Minnesota Millennial Farmer Map by Mapper's Paradise. And we're going to be skipping ahead to spring here in just a minute. Uh, but we did get just a smidge of snow. Not enough to really bother plowing, but enough to, you know, not cover the grass, I guess. It, you know, it's enough. It's snow. Uh, we're in day five, late winter. And, uh... Yeah, I realized we got to feed the cows. We can't just skip ahead through entire seasons. So we're going to jump over here really quick and feed our cows. This is why I don't run uh, animals typically. I'm terrible at remembering things. And it looks like we've still got these hay bales here. So our sheds are working. There's no snow inside of our sheds either. Um, so I thought this would be a good test of some of the... Seasons masks and things uh, take a look at some of the common whoa We're just doing a horrible job driving here um, take a look at the uh, Sheds around the map and just you know give it a test out make sure everything's working um, I know mappers paradise has been working on getting the update back out uh, I've got a list of uh, issues that I have found playing through just little minor things a lot of stuff um, I haven't shown everything on camera that I found and so um, you know, it's always helpful. Uh, it's hard to test a map like this. You know, even though it's a quote-unquote normal or small size map, uh, it, it's there's a lot going on. It's a big, big map uh, when it comes to trying to test every little thing out. And um, so it's always helpful to report those kinds of issues and, you know, help, help out a little bit uh, with getting things, uh, getting things fixed up. And I've actually been in contact with a couple of different people um, who uh, had some input into the map, or at least have worked with Mappers Paradise on other projects, and so um, been, you know, asking some questions and getting some help figuring out how some things work, uh, which has been super helpful. And so um, I'm going to drop this hay bale in here and then um, show off one little thing, which I thought was really cool which is, uh, I can't use a front loader to save my life. There we go. Um, so yeah, so if I jump out here for just a second, uh, I've been talking a little bit, uh, where's my symbols? There we go. I've been talking a little bit with Mr. Clock himself, and so, uh, I shout out for all of the help that he's been giving me. Uh, lately, I was a uh, uh, little slow to put together the fact that uh, his name is on the side of the building. So I've uh, been getting some help there. And he's been kind enough to put me in contact with uh, Perma's Modding. And so we're going to be showing off some of the new stuff that he's been working on uh, with his uh, sprayer and uh, section control stuff. So uh, hoping to get to that today in this episode. And then also, surprisingly enough, um, Donnie's pigs here. I'm going to go out to the sign and make sure that I get the name of it right. And we're also just kind of checking out these sheds. They all seem to have seasons masks. Yeah. Awesome. Um, has been commenting on a bunch of the videos and answering some questions along the way. And so, uh, for me, you know, this is the kind of stuff that I just love about the, uh, farm sim community is, you know, people coming together and helping out and, you know, I'd never met any either of these individuals uh, before I started posting videos on the map, so it's always super cool to uh, get some help and some support and uh, try and, you know, contribute back to the community here. So, you know, everybody that put in a lot of effort on this map, uh, it's been appreciated. So, uh, what's in the window here? Oh, that's an air conditioner. I thought it was like some kind of weird sign. Cool. Uh, so we're going to jump back over here now. And I just need to check on this. We do need some water. I thought for some reason it would automatically water to a point, but this is well below 25%. I don't know what percentage it's supposed to water to. So we're just going to go do it. I don't trust it. Besides, it's below the snow line. If I fill it up, does the water come up over the snow? Or bust up the ice here or something? Come on. It's filling up. Alright, oh, there it goes. Good deal. 
All right, we're gonna take this uh, Moline back up top just because I don't feel like leaving it here. And we're still trying to get used to using the steering wheel, yes. I'll probably feed the cows this other bale off camera just to keep things going really quick. And then we'll be into spring, which is going to be a great opportunity for uh, us to get into, um, I think, a little bit of early spring spraying. I think we've got some field work to do. And I know we've got some lime to do, which I've kind of been dreading. But uh, it's got to be done. The price of having multi-terrain angle on the map, I guess. And so I think I'm going to just park him over here. I want to leave him under the shed. I just don't want to be trapped alongside all that other stuff. And we're back in early spring, day two. Our snow has melted and uh, it's warming up. The ground is still technically frozen, but I wanted to hop in the Mahindra here and go out and check on our winter wheat field uh, because I forgot totally that we had planted uh, wheat in the fall. And I'm going to say that I think this geo is a little bit messed up because I would expect to be able to harvest this winter wheat uh, somewhere in the earlier part of the year. The fact that I can only get into it here seems a little bit off, but it is what it is. Um, that's something that would require a little bit more research than I've had time to do so far. Um, but I'm just kind of curious to see how it is, and I forgot it's on the other side. Is the stream actually frozen? Is that ice? That looks like ice. I can walk on it. How awesome is that? Well, let's try and drive across it. Boom. That's pretty slick. And we've got our field here, and our field is germinated. Um, so... Yeah, it didn't uh, rot away and wither, so in theory this should uh, pop up and be wheat here in another day or so, I imagine. Um, that's really cool. Whoa, I went right through the ice there. Okay, that was a little odd. Working in some places, a little thin in others. So let's uh, run back up here to the yard, and I think it's time to start getting some of our spring work going. If we look at the map here for a second, our grass field here, let's uh, jump over to growth. So yeah, I've got this whole field. There's only a, there's a, like a little spot here where germination failed. That's not bad for a field this big. And so if I look at the ground map here we do need to lime that wheat field we forgot to do that uh, before we planted so I think what we're gonna do and then we've got this whole field over here that's gonna need to be plowed and limed uh, when we get a chance so let's uh, maybe get the lime machine going typically I would th think you'd want to wait until after the ground thawed to put the lime on but, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get going. It's not even in the shed here. Well, I think we parked it out back by the chemical trailers. So we're going to squeeze back out this door. This is a farming simulator thing. All doors are slightly too small uh, for my taste. Yes, so we do have the lime spreader there. And if I remember correctly, that thing pulls pretty hard. So I think we'll grab the uh, 9RT for that job. In theory, one of the smaller tractors should have been able to pull that, but it's a big lime spreader. Especially when it's full. So we're going to just use the 9RT, make everybody's lives a little bit easier. We don't have any other tillage I can do while the ground's frozen right now. And really, I think we've got more fertilizing to do than tillage. So we'll be, I think, running a little bit of spray here uh, first thing, even before we get into uh, the tillage on some of these fields. 
So let's jump out here. And we need uh, we need some lime. So let's go ahead and fill the lime up. I think that's the one station I do have back here still. And so I'm still debating whether or not I should start trying to go and purchase all of my materials from like the co-op and haul them back to the yard manually or use the autofill stations like this. For things like lime, like you got to use a lot of lime to do a field. Um, oh, we're pouring it on the ground. We'll just ignore that for a moment. Um, it's not terribly expensive, it's just really time consuming. And so I'm always kind of on the fence about, you know, how much time on episode do we really want to spend liming our fields, you know, and it's only every three harvests. Um, so in theory, I guess it's not that big of a deal um, if I hadn't messed up all the fields when I did multi terrain and go. So maybe I'm overthinking it. Now, the other thing, this is just a. Uh, me talking out loud from what I remember farming, but you probably wouldn't actually... Why is this not working? Because I didn't have my hoses up. And our PTO. Alright, let's try again. Talking and driving. Apparently too hard for me. Uh, should not have gotten into YouTube. So, <laughs> let me deactivate this. I got some pointers from uh, everyone on being able to turn that back on. And they do not appear to be working at the moment. Oh, well, now we're not unable to get back into course play. Uh, what have I done? I thought it was either left or right control and delete. What am Whoa. Whoa. Control, alt, delete. A bad key combination in case you didn't know. Uh, so since I've now locked myself out of course play, we're going to lime this field the old-fashioned way. By hand. It'll be glorious. At least we've got a steering wheel. I'm going to use cruise control so my foot doesn't get tired. Anyhow, I was saying something before this, and I don't remember. Anyway. So now that we're liming this field by hand, uh... I think that we need to cut ourselves into... Oh, I remember what I was going to say. I was going to say, I think uh, from what I recall from farming, if you were going to actually lime, you probably wouldn't lime over a previously seeded uh, piece of ground. You would typically want to um, wait, you know, not do it either in the fall before the ground freezes or in the spring after it thaws and work it into the soil a little bit with some light tillage uh, but since this is farming simulator we're gonna just toss it on top here for this particular field uh, this field is not uh, that big uh, but we'll do the other field here and then work it into the soil if I can I've got to uh, I don't think I have the digger installed that I want for that field the field cultivator or really any kind of a tillage tool that isn't a uh, deep tillage so I'm doing a terrible job of staying on the edge of this field my steering wheel is working great but it's like a little bit more sensitive than I'd like it to be so I gotta use smaller motions there we go that's better <laughs> uh, so yeah so we'll we'll set course play up on the big field once I figure out how to turn it back on in this vehicle and let him uh, do the lime over there and we'll just have the worker buy lime so we don't have to uh, run back and forth a million times Stay. We 
can get away with it Cause you make me love my imperfections Answer all my questions just to show me What's on the other side of inhibition No apologies, my baby I tell you do cause I'm feeling so good spring and so we've got that limed I want to spray field seven and so and I want to do so and I thought that'd be a perfect field to try out our new spray control mod because it's such an awkwardly shaped field and I know that there's parts where I don't want to overlap and so it's gonna work out really well to test with the, this big sprayer and its big booms. So let's get this out and let's get it set up. Fill it up with some fertilizer here. And we're gonna need a truck on the spray tanks. And so let's grab the one back here. I think it's gonna be the better of the trucks to grab. Mostly because it's a little bit easier to turn around in the yard with the uh, shorter day cab. And then what I would like to do, I think, is set up the white tank as Fertilize? I'm trying to think. White tank is fertilizer and then the other one is uh, herbicide. Partly because there's big tanks around up there. Um, so that's uh, less fertilizer, more weed killer. And so if I grab this, am I able to fill this tank from the fertilizer tank there? Or do I need to actually go get fertilizer somehow. I can't remember what I did to get fertilizer last time. I've got to be able to fill it here. Yeah, I can fill it here from the, mostly from the pump. Now, the one thing I liked about this other Wilson step deck trailer is I've got a little holder for the hose right here that I could like hook the hose up to it to drag that around with me. Um, but since we're in the yard, we're going to ignore that for the time being. And I'm just going to drag it over here by hand while that's uh, filling up. We're going to hook that up right here and then bring our semi over. And see if I can line that up in an appropriate way. Now we've got $34,000 worth of chemical purchased. And it, the pump is on that side of the semi, which will work out perfectly for us, especially if I don't turn the truck off. And I'm just checking that I have the pump direction set up correctly and things here. I honestly am not even sure what I'm looking at. We'll find out once we hook it up. 
Now, I've got this a little bit in a poor position for this actually. So I think what we're going to do is park the truck here. Uh, actually, the truck needs to keep running if we're going to start pumping. And we're going to disconnect that. We're going to pick this end up and hook it up. And then we're going to jump in the 4045 here. And this is where I'm so glad somebody pointed out the front uh, hookup here. Because I can pull up like so. And hop out here. Grab our little hose. I think it helps if I crouch if I remember correctly. And boom. Look at that. That's just slick. And then we need to hop in the 4045. And we need to see that the pump direction is filling. And then if I pop in here and push R, your pump source or target is empty. Um, change pump direction to filling. Oh wait, I'm... <laughs> okay, here we go. Deactivate pump of trailer. There. Change pump direction to fill it. Activate. There we go. It always helps when you know what you're doing. And so we're pushing the liquid into our R4045. And so if I come in here, I can see that my liquid fertilizer is being filled up. This is uh, super, super duper exciting. I love this uh, manure system hose mod thing. It just looks really cool. Really cool. And so one thing that was clarified for me in the comments, somebody asked where can I get the hose here for uh, fertilizer and what mod that is. And that is part of the... Um, manure system mod itself for the actual hose that's being used here and so if I just grab that it disconnects if I grab that it disconnects we're just gonna leave that there and we're gonna take this over to field 7 and give it a shot so now we enter the PSA portion of the video slash maybe a little bit of a tutorial section. Mods don't work if you don't turn them on. Uh, um, I had downloaded the mod, put it in my folder, and forgot to check the box when we loaded the game. Or I would have seen this handy dandy automatic mode uh, pop-up window as soon as I get into the sprayer. So um, because the sprayer is all wired up with the spray control mod, um, I now have the ability to control all of its sections. I'm curious if I fold it up if that little window goes away or if it's always just going to be a part of me. I love you, window. You're never going to leave me. Oh, actually, I'm looking at the uh, documentation off on the side of the screen. Left shift B and it goes away and I can see my whole screen. That is amazing. Uh, so if we turn this back on for a second we've got some different options here and so i can push left control b to get a mouse and you can see that i can click this button and go into manual mode and then i've got the ability to turn sections on and off um, right now these are all marked as off um, yellow means that the section is turned on but the sprayer is not on and then they can turn green if I was running the sprayer and the sprayer was turned on. And so this gives me the opportunity if I just want to say, you know what, I'm overlapping and I don't want um, any of the right boom uh, sprayers to run, but I only want the center and the left boom sprayers to run. I can set that up and then, you know, turn the sprayer on and away we go. Or I can leave it in automatic mode and say um, that it's going to figure that out. I believe automatic versus manual mode has something to do with when we're 
uh, spraying um, weeds, I can it'll automatically only spray if there's a weed underneath it versus if I'm in manual mode. Uh, it's always going to spray, so you can do kind of the um, pre-emerge spray versus your spot spraying weeds uh, on the fly as you drive down the field, so that's pretty realistic. Um, so I'm really excited to try this out and show you guys how it works, but we have a problem. Let's turn our sprayer on. Oh, the soil is frozen and I can't work it. Now automatic mode recognizes that I can't actually, or I don't want to spray because I've stopped. And so it turns everything off automatically. I didn't have to do anything. How amazing is that? Uh, that's pretty cool. But I'm not actually able to fertilize right now because the soil is still frozen. So I'm going to turn the sprayer off. We're going to leave it here and we're going to come back and do this job in a little bit. But... I've been talking about this mod for so long, I wanted to show it off, and so we've got a little bit of a preview here, and this is definitely something we're going to get to as soon as we can uh, spray. I'm just skeptical that if I advance the time one more day, that uh, we're going to be ready to uh, spray. I don't think, I keep hitting the right mouse button, of course Play and I are not getting along. Um, I just don't think that uh, we're quite ready to spray. Let, let me look at... I'm in the wrong menu. Our seasons menu here for a second. And if I come in here... Oh, it is going to warm up pretty good tomorrow. So we should be able to spray if we advanced it one more day. And we've got the food. So let's uh, go ahead and give that a shot, shall we? Alright, so we're back now in mid-spring. Which means our crops are actually ready to be planted if it wasn't uh, quite so cold. So we've probably got one more day before I have to worry about getting stuff in the ground. And so I'm curious to see how this automatic mode works. I'm wondering if it's actually going to shut things off if it determines there's fertilizer underneath it. So let's get this thing going and see how it does. I'm super curious. And I'm also curious if it works with course play, but one thing at a time. So we're going to turn this on. Oh, it's detecting that I was not over a field and it turned them off. Okay. If you weren't watching, I'm going to I'm going to do this on purpose. Watch the automatic modes on the right side. I'm going to drift off the field here. And I, the the pictures are the inverted, you know, that which maybe makes sense to me. I have to think about that one. It's a little disorienting that it's showing me the left ones instead of the right ones, but as I drift off the field, it's automatically turning them off so that I'm not spraying nothing. Now the question I have is, is it actually saving me spray? Man, I'm gonna have to do some testing on this. But watch this, when I'm come, I'm gonna come straight down this thing and my booms are gonna be over both sides. I don't really wanna spray the creek, right? And so if I'm coming down here, look, it's gonna turn them off for me. How awesome. Oh, this mod is my new best friend for spraying. Because it always just felt weird uh, spraying over, you know, the road and everywhere. And, you know, you use these big sprayers, you would just turn off things. Now, when I turn back around, what I really want to see is if it's going to turn off when I'm going over actual field that I've already sprayed. Is it going to be smart enough to say, you know what, you've already sprayed there. Right now it's figuring out if I'm over a field or not. Ah, uh, this is going to be cool. Because look, I'm missing this little tiny strip over here. So I'm all, and I could probably be getting that if I drove better. But for, we'll call it for testing purposes, not because I'm a bad driver. We're going to turn that off now. And I might not have needed to turn that off. I don't know. I'm just turning it off because it's the right thing to do. Oh, right. Almost to the telephone pole. And we're going to turn this back on. And it's not spraying the sections that are already fertilized. How awesome. Oh my gosh. Hang on. we got to get a screenshot of this. I'm going to have to figure out how to get that UI in my screenshot. I guess we just zoom in a little bit better here. Okay. Whoa. We're going all over the place. Oh my goodness. We've lost control of our sprayer. My bad. This is why I usually take screenshots uh, 
when I'm not actively recording. Let's back up here. All right, this thing is amazing though. So I want to give a big uh, shout out here um, again to uh, Mr. Clock and Permas Modding for hooking me up with this and um, making sure to point me to all the relevant uh, documentation and the latest versions of things. Um, this is awesome and I feel like it probably deserves a dedicated spin-off video mod highlight or something at some point here. Um, maybe I'll do it a little bit more justice and explain uh, the details. We're gonna go back here and grab the rest of this field. And I don't have to leave this uh, UI out here. Like if I do, whoops, yeah, control B. Can I move the UI? That would have been nice. Oops, go away. No, I can't move it. Um, but I can turn it off, but I like it. I want it to be there. I want to know that it's on. I want to see the little sections blinking on and off because it's so awesome. And it's a cool way to do the UI. I probably would have just made it a little bit slower. Why isn't it working? Oh, because I didn't turn my sprayer on. I'm an idiot. Okay, let's back up here. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you think of this mod. Um, I think this mod is awesome, and we will definitely be using this. We will likely be using the sprayer almost exclusively moving forward, because now this is just the uh, best thing ever. And uh, if it doesn't come uh, with it, I'm really going to be figuring out, uh, based on what's on the GitHub here, how to add this into the new custom modding uh, 4940 sprayer that's going to be coming out here, uh, hopefully not too long. Uh, because I really want to give that sprayer a try, but I'm going to have a hard time going back to a sprayer that doesn't implement this mod uh, ever again. This is my new favorite mod, so uh, again the uh the spray what's it called uh, uh i want to get the name of the mod right here sprayer section control I'm, I'm reading off of a different monitor and driving off into the middle of nowhere i apologize i'm just so excited right now the sprayer section control is the name of the script that um actually has the nozzles go on and off and then perma's modding uh actually put this sprayer together uh, with the support for the manure system hoses and the uh, sprayer section control script. So a uh, big shout out to both of those guys um, for putting that together. I think Rival AUT put the sprayer section control uh, together. And uh, yeah, this is, this is my new favorite spraying setup. So thank you very much for that. And that's me, the little squirts that you saw while I was turning around there, that's me turning the sprayer on and off because I'm so used to just shutting the sprayer off when I'm turning. Um, this is super cool. I'm going to have to uh, even suggest this mod over on the uh, FSN servers and see if we can get this running on multiplayer. Um, I'm kind of curious if it's going to work in a multiplayer environment. I'll have to read the documentation a little bit. Oh, and there, we're spraying the grass. Oh. Oh, this is going to be glorious. We need to go over there and spray that grass, too, now that I'm thinking about it. Now I just want to spray. We're going to spray all of our fields. We're going to do it all by ourselves. The next test I'm going to have to do, uh, next episode, since we'll have so much spraying we need to do this spring, is to um, set up a course play course. And then, you know, hop out and watch it and see if, uh, see if the mod's working while course play is doing the actual spring. Or a normal worker, for that matter. Yes, tests need to be done. We'll have to figure this out. Uh, reading the documentation here over my other monitor, because I do everything in real time, it seems. Uh, it does work with both fertilizer and herbicide. So, that should be pretty awesome and yeah see this is just running because technically that field needs to be sprayed as well good deal 
we're on our last pass here and then it does look I, I want to say the liquids going slower it's hard to tell I really wish I knew mm -hmm. well, I mean it's obviously not spraying at all when it's all shut off oh I wish I knew I have to do the math like set it up with just a single one and run down the field and then turn them all on and run down the field and see how many gallons each pass reused. Yeah, we'll have to do that at some point. Lots of testing. The engineer in me has to know if it was done appropriately or not. Maybe we'll do that in the uh, mod highlight video that I'm thinking about doing for this now. Either way, we're making huge progress here. It's spring. Um, I'm having so much fun spraying that I'm just going to do this grass field while we're here. And, uh, we need, we got a, we got a bunch of work to do now that it's spring finally. So I'm excited to get back in the fields. Uh, we'll probably, um, do some more with the animals, uh, each episode and see how that goes. I'm trying to think about the format of this moving forward. So I'd love some feedback. Do you want to see me try and stick to one day per episode or a more of a, a job-based focus? If I do a day per episode, there's a lot of um, the in-between miscellaneous stuff that I might have to cut out because, you know, spring is not that long and there's a lot to do uh, during the various uh, seasons, days. So... Just kind of thinking about if uh, passing lots of time is more interesting uh, and just seeing pieces of the job or if you'd like to continue to see uh, most of the work done on camera. Either way, uh, this has been an exciting episode uh, for me to get to try out some new mods and uh, advance back into getting into the field. Uh, I'm you know glad to be trying out a lot of the different features on the map and hitting animals but i am a field work kind of a guy and this is uh this is a really exciting mod to get to try out so uh, i'm glad i uh didn't back out of this again and that we got this in for uh today's episode with that uh, i think we're wrapping up this field so this is a good spot to wrap up the episode hope you enjoyed uh, if you did, leave a like and hit that subscribe button. That's all for today. Kederk, out.